so in this case actually we have um, uh, a monkey which is climbing down and climbing up the same rope at two different acceleration of 4 meter per second and f square and 5 meter per second square respectively and here we're not being given the tension of the wire we'll be given the maximum tolerable tension okay so the maximum tolerable tension is 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 given to us as the maximum tolerable tension is given to us as 350 newton and we've been asked to find out whether or not the um, the action of the mon monkey going going down with four and going up with five would would be able within the tolerable limit or not so we'll do it at two different cases case one where the monkey is moving downwards right so when the monkey is moving downwards the overall direction of motion is overall direction of motion is downwards right and sorry overall direction of motion is downwards so the net direction of motion is downwards what are the various forces acting the forces acting here are weight of the monkey which is acting downwards right weight of the monkey which is acting downwards and then what we have is tension which is away from the point of contact like this so there are only two forces now which forces along the direction of motion there is only one force which is along the direction of motion which is weight so that force will be taken as positive which other force is acting against the motion of direction this is the direction of motion and this is tension is acting against the motion of uh, against the net direction of motion so we'll take tension as negative now what is sigma fy by due to second law of motion is equal to m a y in this case there is only one acceleration a x y why because the monkey is not moving in the x direction therefore a x is equal to zero so the only direction is y so the only acceleration is a y which can be replaced by a now what is the sign of mg mg would be positive and so mg would be positive and tension would be negative so mg minus t will be equal to ma so what is t is equal to t will be equal to mg minus ma so this can be written as m into g minus a what is the mass the mass is given to 50 kilogram right so the mass of the monkey is given to us as 50 kilograms so this would be 50 into what is g g is 10 what is a actually is coming down with 40 so 50 into 60 6, 6 into 50 is 300 newtons so this case is 300 newtons. okay let, let us call this as t1 for instance now what happens when the monkey is going upwards so the net direction of motion here is net direction of motion here is upwards right so the net direction of motion is upwards what are the various forces acting two one acting against the motion which is mg two acting along the motion which is tension so what is acting along the motion t so we'll take it as plus t net direction of motion is upwards so what is the force against the net direction of motion? It is weight. So we'll take it as minus mg. So I'll write the equation, second law of motion, sigma f is equal to m a y is equal to m a. Again here, there is no force acting in the x direction as there is no velocity, no, no displacement in the x direction. And therefore, a x is equal to zero. And therefore, the only component of acceleration is a y, which can be replaced by a. And then we can write minus mg plus t is equal to m a. Therefore, t is equal to mg plus m a. Or I can write m into g plus a and what is m m is given to us as 50 kilogram what is g g is 10 what is a acceleration is given to us as 5 and therefore t2 say t2 would be equal to 10 plus 5 15 to 5 is 7 50 7 50 newton now let us compare these two cases all right so what is t up t upward t upward is my bad t upward is 750 newton but what is t downwards t downwards is 500 newtons now what is the maximum tolerable tension the maximum tolerable tension given in the question is equal to is equal to 300 newton the maximum tolerable tension is equal to 300 newton and it is very clear from this that uh, this uh, equation that t upward is greater than the maximum tolerable tension and t downwards is less than which means which means this rope will break while the monkey is going up 
whereas with the monkey is coming down with the same weight and with more acceleration the rope will remain intact that is the beauty of this same monkey more acceleration coming down it won't break same monkey less acceleration it is going up it will break okay uh, okay well i think i said a mistake here uh, same monkey with less acceleration coming down it won't break yeah sorry my bad so we can say that uh, rope will break while climbing upward option c